All right, what up YouTube? It's Pluck the Master Gamer here, and we're back at it with some Fable of the Lost chapters. Uh, as you can see here, we're obviously at the uh, the beginning of the game here. So in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is what the easiest and most efficient way to do the Trader Escort is. Trader Escort is one of my least favorite quests. Kind of just a burden. Like, I mean, you got to like keep these two people alive, and you just got to like trek through the woods. It's just like a really long and stupid quest that I've never really liked that much for some reason. Uh, so my goal through every like playthrough has pretty much always been to like optimize my efficiency at doing the trader escort quest which usually involves pretty much running through the thing so basically I'm gonna show you what I do for the trader escort now if you've seen some of my videos you've probably seen me do uh, a lot of these tactics but I mean it's significant enough to me that I figured I'd make a video about it show you guys what I think at least is the best and quickest way to do the trader escort now like I said Obviously, we're at the beginning of the game here. Trader Escort is now available. You obviously need to be at this point in the game to do the Trader Escort quest. Um, the Trader Escort quest, I believe, is the third actual uh, official quest, um, or the ones that actually pertain to the the main story of the game. I would I would recommend you do you know a bunch of side quests and stuff too because you are going to need some experience for this. Now there are a couple ways to do this. Um, I've actually gone to the point where I don't even use slow time anymore, but what I would normally use is I would use slow time as it allows you to slow time and run through the fucking map without anybody fucking with you. So uh, you definitely want to make sure you at least have one level of that. I think we are just going to do it with one level. Level 2 is kind of expensive and you're probably going to want to spend that experience on other stuff. And another thing, uh, to make this a bit quicker, it, it makes it a lot easier if you've already explored a lot of the map. If you've already done the Hob Cave quest, you've already been to the Great Wood Cullis Gate area, so you should be fine there. But I would I would recommend going all the way to Oakvale. The main reason I recommend going to Oakvale prior to doing this quest is not only just for you know the extra experience that you get. I mean that just comes in handy having that extra experience, whether or not you're using it for slow time or not. But also it allows you to go and collect all of the treasure and loot and whatnot that you find along the path of the trader escort quest so that you can run through it during the quest and not have to worry about picking up loot or having to go back later and grab it because well you've already been through the area and you've already gotten all the loot so that that just makes it a lot better in my opinion just because it gets you the experience early on and you know you don't have to worry about feeling guilty about not stopping for all that loot funny I actually forgot to accept the quest so I had to go back and accept it real quick so here we are Darkwood entrance beginning of the quest There's not too much trouble at this first section here but there is one thing now there's this guy up here now there's there's two ways you can deal with him I choose to do it the quick way now this guy's already been bitten by the by the Balverine so he's already fucked if you choose to let him follow you uh, he's just gonna end up slowing you down later because he's gonna end up dying so we're just gonna take care of the problem right away and by take care of the problem right away um, I obviously mean euthanize him so we are actually gonna have him follow us I don't know why I do it this way um, I think it's because if you say no he'll run off and then he'll just turn into a Balverine or whatever uh, this way you can just have him follow you and then you just you just kind of euthanize him real quick and you know you'll get a couple bad points but you only get a couple bad points you get okay you get like a hundred bad points but still it's not there's really not that many in the grand scheme of things so you're gonna kill that guy and that's that's pretty much it now sadly you are gonna encounter the balverine here so you're gonna have to fucking deal with that shit now I find that this is the one part that you can't just really run past. And if you're trying to do one of the quest boasts, like uh, without a scratch or something, this is a really good method to do that, the slow time and run method. Um, but the, uh, the Balverine, since he's so near the beginning of this area, uh, you don't have enough time, even with slow time, to run all the way to the end before the Balverine starts hitting the traders. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. After that, though, you can pretty much use slow time throughout the entire quest. And so, yeah, from here on out, you're just doing slow time, and then you're just going to leave him behind, and you're going to sprint all the way to the next area. It's it's pretty simple. There's there's really not much to it. It's just, uh, you run out of, you run out of slow time, you just re-engage it. And if you do it right, you really shouldn't have any damage to them at all. Um, here's Darkwood Camp. Now, this is a this is an area where you can have them, you know, restock their health and all that stuff. So if you're doing this without slow time, there's a pretty good chance that they are going to take a little bit of damage. However, you can usually get to Darkwood Camp before they take enough damage to die. I've never I've never had them die completely doing either method. Uh, but since this happens to be the easiest method, doing it with slow time, I decided I would do it uh, this way. 
So yeah, you're just gonna do this for every single quest region here. You're just gonna keep doing slow time over and over again. You're gonna sprint to the next area. Now there's an ambush at the bottom of these stairs. And I think there's another ambush a little further on. Uh, but usually the traders are so far back that they don't even get to that ancient coal escape by the time you uh, <clears throat> you get to the next area. Actually, it looks like they're getting there right about now. They still should be fine. Uh, you know, level one slow time, it's it's doable for sure. I mean, it's it's doable without slow time, period. But I would I would recommend doing it with like level two slow time just to be extra sure, especially if you're going for the boasts. Uh, this is the last area, though. This is this is where I always mess up when I'm trying to use a speed hack because these guys are a fucking pain in the ass to mess with. I, I usually like to fight them with time slowed down, not with time sped up. So yeah, that's that's another major reason why you want to have slow time for this quest in particular because these guys are just a bitch. They're not that hard to kill, but they'll knock your ass over, and it's just so much easier to deal with them when you have time slowed down. So you kill that guy pretty easily. He's probably got a gem or something, so you probably wait for that. Yep, got a ruby. And you're pretty much done. And as you can see here, neither of them got hurt. If I would have taken the quest boasts, uh, at least for without a scratch and protect the traitors or whatever, I, I would have certainly gotten it because I, I did that. Well, actually, maybe not the without a scratch because I did just get hit by that guy. Um, but, you know, nothing a little bit of a protection spell can't handle. We've been it. So yeah, the quest is done, and that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to show you guys what my usual method of doing the trader escort is, because I don't know about you guys, but I, like I said, I really don't like this fucking quest, and I usually do as much as I can to streamline it as much as possible, because I really just don't like this quest. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like if you did, and uh, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you want to see more of this Fable content, or any of my other gaming content for that matter, and make sure you're leaving suggestions in the comments down down below. Uh, if you leave suggestions for future videos, I'll definitely read those comments and I'll take those suggestions and I'll definitely make a video out of them. So that way you're getting videos that you want to watch and you know, I got some ideas for future videos. Kind of helps us both out there. Make sure you're leaving suggestions down in the comments below for me and I'll always get back to you on those. For now, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fate of the Lost chapters and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.